Today, we're going to talk about our collective war on vice. Let me give some context to where that term even comes from. Uh, it's interesting how God sort of sets me up sometimes for where he wants me to go. And so with this show, there's a lot of setup. But one that some of you might be familiar with is how earlier this year I was slandered, I guess you could say, by Vice Media News. And so it was, in my opinion, silly, but it was definitely harsh. They used my picture in a headline uh, on social media, mass murders against women. They used my face as a part of it. And so a lot of my friends and fans reached out to me like, Elliot, look at what they're trying to say about you. Look what they're doing to you. I laughed it off because I thought it was just silly and it had nothing to do with any reality. But it sparks something in me, which brings us to where we are today with the conversation that we're going to have about the collective war on vice, our war on vice, my war on vice, but all of our wars on vice. We live in a world that praises vice, that holds vice up to be a virtue. And if you've ever struggled with a vice, and I'm talking specifically to successful men because you know what it takes to succeed in one area of your life, but if you've got a vice that just seems to have its claws dug into you and you just can't get rid of, it has a lot to do with the culture of death that we're living in that allows companies like Vice Media to get a voice. Well, anyway, I just thought it was an interesting, uh, how you say, analogy, or um, it pointed to a greater reality, which is not necessarily a war against the media company itself, but really awoke me to the idea, to the challenge that we're having in our society, particularly with men who are completely subdued in our masculine magnetism and power and ability to create change because we're sucking down suds, playing video games, rubbing our nuts on uh, porn, and essentially being dumbed down and living degenerate lives much smaller than we're called to. Like I opened the show with the call to action to any man who has made great strides in the world, but there's that one thing holding you back. And you know, or maybe you don't know, maybe you need to hear it in this show, because we're gonna talk about what some people do in terms of denial, that if you could just let go, your life would rise. So we're gonna talk a little bit about my battle, my personal struggle in war with vice, not vice media, but with a filthy vice I picked up about the age of 35, <laughs> as well as what most men don't realize about how we got into these, uh, this place where vice destroys our life and what most men do. I'm going to talk about the solution and I'm going to offer my personal solution and I'm going to talk to you guys about a program that I think would be really beneficial to some of the men watching this video. So let's begin. If you're a high achieving businessman, executive or entrepreneur who's dominating in business but struggle with drinking, drugs, overeating or any filthy vice, here's some advice. The biggest mistake that you could make is to try to quit cold turkey and use willpower to overcome your cravings. If you've ever quit for a few days or a few weeks only to self-sabotage by binging worse than before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only has my company helped thousands of men destroy vice and dominate life, I personally confronted and overcome the same struggles when I found myself hooked on weed at the peak of my business career. If you've got four minutes to listen to a coach who will help you achieve total self-mastery and control over your inner punk, then listen up. If you don't beat drinking, drugs, or any life-draining dependency in 90 days or less, not only will my company give you your money back, we'll pay for your first month's stay at a rehab retreat of your choice. That's what you need to succeed. So let's go, bro. Just visit waronvice.com, fill out an application, and my team will get back to you with the details. Hope to see you on the inside. Done. <laughs>